module four has three chapters. This is a very short module because each of the chapters has only one or two lessons. Um, so it's a good way to kind of calm down the rest of the school year. So uh, we'll start with chapter 11, which is average. Okay, so this is a new topic for the kids. So average is technically total of all numbers divided by number of numbers. Okay, so um, the, the students are expected to know uh, bar models for, to be able to read, sorry, bar graphs and line graphs. So a bar graph and a line graph depicts um, measurements that the kids must be able to read. Okay, so we will do a few exercises on that so that uh, you can be familiar with it as well. Okay, so uh, the problems that I've selected comes from page 76 and 78 and 79. So there's uh, quite a few of these. So starting with page 76, it says four students sold t-shirts for a fundraiser. The table shows the number of t-shirts that are that each student sold. Okay, so which means if I look at the table, it says name. This is number of t-shirts. Okay, so there's four of them. Alison, Muna, Karina, and Rina. Okay, so this is 12, 20, 16, and 28. Okay, so the question is, what is the average number of t-shirts that each student sold? Okay, so um, I'm going to show my way first, and then I'll show the book's way. In the end, they're the same. It's just the book kind of makes it a bit longer. Okay, so if we follow the formula, average is equal to the total of all numbers. So that means that's the total of that. So that's 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 28 divided by number of numbers. So since there are four students, that's divided by four. Okay, so again, when I'm discussing, I'm assuming that the kids are allowed to use calculators. But not all problems, they're allowed to. But for discussion purpose, my assumption is they can. Okay, so which means if we add all of that with a calculator, it's 76. And when we divide by 4, putting that into the calculator, that will be 19. Now, if we can't use a calculator and we have to do it mentally, clearly we want to write it as 76 divided by 4. Four. So again, the kids still need to be able to do this. Okay, now the book does it step by step. So it asks first the total t-shirts. Total t-shirts. So that means that will be 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 18. Okay, so the total t-shirts is 76. Okay, then it says average. So the average is 76 divided by 4. So when we divide, we will still get 19. So on the average, each student sold 19 t-shirts. Continuing on to page 78, problem 3C says the masses of 5 pupils are shown in the table below. However, the total mass of the girls was left out. So there's a table that says, this is 3C. Girls, boys, pupils, and total mass. Okay, so this is Linda and Elsa, question mark. Alvin, Chris, and George. 
104 kilograms. Okay, so it says the average mass of the five pupils is 38.2 kilograms. Okay, then find the average mass of the girls. So the question has leading on uh, solutions that we can follow. So if we follow, it says the total mass of the pupils equals. Okay, so total mass of pupils equals. So this is technically 32.8 times 5 because the average of the five pupils is 32.8 grams, kilograms. Okay, so if we multiply that out, we have 164 kilograms. Okay, then it says the total mass of the girls. So total mass of girls. So the total mass of the girls would technically be 164 minus 104, which means this will be 60 kilograms will be the total mass of the girls. Okay, but the final question says, what is the average mass of the girls? So that means the average mass um, of girls will equal to 60 divided by 2, since there are two girls, making it 30 kilograms. Okay, that's the book's approach. My approach, so this is Michelle's. Okay, so I'll have um, a number, this is for all. Okay, number of, I'll call it things, but it's not really things, and then mass per thing, and then total mass. Okay, so I know that the five uh, students have an average of 32.8 kilograms. Okay, so which means the first part is to find the total mass. That's this one. So which means that's 32.8 times 5 which is equal to 164 kilograms. Okay, now after we deal with all, we will now go to the girls. Okay, so for the girls, number of things. Okay, and then this is mass per thing. So again, it's not thing. This is number of students and then mass per student and then total mass. Now it's number of girls then mass per girl, and then total mass. Okay, now the thing is, we know that there are two girls, but the total mass of the two girls will technically be the 164, total of the five, minus the total mass of the boys, which is 60 kilograms, which means this is 60, and that will be unknown. So, which means if I do that, that will be, since that's my unknown, that will be 60 divided by 2 is equal to question mark, which leaves me with 30 kilograms. Our last example for this lesson comes from page 79, and it's problem number 4. This is now a bar graph. So, a bar graph, the difference between a bar graph and a uh, Line graph is a bar graph is made up of bars. A line graph is made up of lines connected. Okay, but in either case, there, there are scales that we should be able to read. Okay, so the problem says the bar graph shows the number of visitors who visited the MC Heritage Center last five months. Okay, so the graph looks like this. I won't draw the whole thing. Okay, but it has a zero. It has 200. It has 400. And then 600. Okay, so, but in between those are the lines. So, if this is 200, then that means each line must be 50. So, which means this is 
100, the middle of that would be 300, the middle of that would be 500. So how did I determine that it's 50? That's technically 200 divided by four segments. So which means each segment is 50. So reading the bar graph, there's January, Feb, March, April, and May. So the lines go to, this is like this. Okay, so this line is there. The first line after the 200 is 250. So again, if it helps to put it inside, if it helps to put it on top, you put the value somewhere so that it's easy to follow. So which means the next one, if you read it, it will be here. In Feb, it will be 300. Okay, so I leave it up to you guys to read the graph. So the next one will be 950. So I'll just draw example there, 950. Okay, and the next one will be 300. So this one is aligned. Okay, and finally, the last one is 200. So this one is here. Okay, so again, the difference between a bar graph and a line graph is if it were a line, you, you will see a line that connects and it goes to the middle of that usually. Okay, so the question though is that what is the average? Okay, so what was the average number of visitors who visited over the last five months? So again, if we take the average, the average by formula is the total number of numbers divided by the number of numbers. So this would be 250 plus 300 plus 950 plus 300 plus 200 divided by 5. Okay, so assuming that you can use a calculator, adding that up is 2,000 divided by 5 would be 400 is the average number of guests per month. So again, we need to be able to teach our kids how to read this bar graphs. We need to be able to have them read a line graph as well and be able to compute for the average. That concludes the only lesson for the chapter. So I'll see you in the next chapter.